In this specific video, you're going to learn how to split up a post into multiple pages for easier reading. Imagine you go to a WordPress site and you see a very, very long post. Most likely, you're going to get overwhelmed, you're going to exit the site, and you're going to find other data unless that content is really, really appealing to you. The key here is to avoid overwhelming your readers. And if you can do that by giving them in bite-sized chunks your content, then you will have a higher stick rate. The same with videos. People have a shorter attention span. So that's the goal here is to take a long post and split it up into bite-sized chunks. Now, this solution is actually built into WordPress. It's just not publicized very well. And this example is what we're trying to achieve. So we can break up a post into several pages. And as they read along, they can click to the second page and third page and so forth. To do this, you will need to copy some code into your single .php file that is within your WordPress theme. So let's go ahead and do that right now. Let's go to the WordPress dashboard and go under appearance and locate the editor. Now in order to use the editor you need to have your permissions set correctly so that you can update the file. If you have any problems in any way then you can open the FileZilla FTP program and then access the single.php file under your wp-content-themes-whatever the theme that you have. You can edit that and then copy this code into that PHP file. And I'm going to show you exactly what you need to copy into that file. So right now, I'm going to locate the single.php file. So I'm going to do a search for single.php. And we want the exact single.php. Some files will have the word single.php in them. However, we're looking for the single post, this right here. So click on this and scroll all the way down to the bottom. Now, you don't need to know web code, PHP, or anything like that. Just simply watch how I do it and you're going to see how easy it is. At the very bottom of your single.php file, you can actually copy this specific code. And this is less than sign question mark PHP space WP underscore link underscore pages open parentheses and close parentheses semicolon space question mark and greater than sign so simply copy exactly what I have posted here for free deposit at any time so that you can copy this code so simply copy it at the very bottom so you don't have to mess with the actual code. Doing this, you don't need to know any web code. So do that. Click on Update File. And we'll just make sure that the file has been updated, as you can see here. And you can do the same thing with FileZilla. Open the single.php file on your computer. Do the same thing that I did here. Save it and then upload it if that's the avenue that you want to take. Once you're done with that, you're pretty much done. Now all you need to do is go on over to a post and I'm gonna create a brand new post so you can see everything in action. So I'm gonna enter the new post title and then I'm going to enter the text. Now for the sake of an example, I'm just going to enter some text here And there is a last piece of code that you're going to need to copy over. And in order for this to work, you have to go under the HTML section. So if we go to visual and you try to copy this code, it's not going to work. You have to go 
under the HTML tab right here. So at this point, all you need to do is type in this exact code. That is less than sign exclamation mark dash dash next page dash dash greater than sign. So what we're trying to do here is every time you want a break or a brand new page, you need to put this code. So you have text and then after that text, you copy this code and then you do the exact same thing where you want the brand new pages located. And of course, once you're done with that, you just need to update and publish that specific page. Then that's all you have to do. From this point, let's go take a look at the live posts so that you can see it all in action. So as you saw, I have six different pages. And if I click on the page number two, you're going to see the following and page number three, and you see the following. So that's actually very easy to do now. Now that you have done this in the future, when you're going to break up those one post into multiple pages, all you have to do is do the last step, which is to copy this code here in between the content where you want the breaks to happen. And that's it.